Hi everyone, David Payne here with Horizon Hobby and Spectrum RC. Today we're gonna to go through the first time setup of your Spectrum Synapse module that's included with your PowerSafe 2410T receiver. The new Spectrum Synapse module has AS3X Plus technology. It's a huge advancement in gyro stabilization, algorithms, and flight performance. And you know, there's a ton of adjustability in this system. But today we wanna to focus on how simple and easy it is to get your gyro installed, your first time setup, and then even through your first flight and lock the gain in and just enjoy your system. If you wanna go back later and do more with it and, and explore more capabilities or use it for more things, that's perfectly fine. And there's a lot that I can, or that we can do and show you. But for today, let's focus on just the simplicity of the first time setup. Uh, one of the first things housekeeping wise before we get into the first time setup is we need to make sure that your transmitters are up to date. That's always very important. We're always working very hard to keep that up to date, whether it be new additions, new features, or bug fixes even. So I highly recommend that. As of the time that we taped this video, on the NX radio, you would need to be on 3.13, and on the IX radio, you need to be on 121.06. That's what it would require to make sure you get all the features and benefits out of your new receiver and Synapse module. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, we're gonna cover a few installation tips as we go through this. So let's open up the Hangar 9339 here. So we already have the gyro installed in this, but I wanna cover a few things that are just good practice for any gyro installation, which is first and foremost, you wanna make sure the gyro is aligned with the three axes of flight of your aircraft, right? You don't want the gyro rolled, you don't want the gyro pitched up or down, and you definitely don't want the gyro in any kind of yaw configuration. Um, you wanna make sure it's very stable, but you also wanna make sure it's straight. Now the gyro can be offset. It can be to one side or the other, and it can be forward or aft of the receiver, but you definitely wanna make sure the gyro is aligned with the orientation of the airplane. All right, so one of the other things that can be a little confusing, and I wanna make sure we note it now as we're installing this, is you can see here that your first row on the receiver is actually your switch in your first 10 channels, and then we actually have a sticker on the side here, which is your 11 through 20 channels. So just make sure you take note of that as you install it, your first row here, where the switch is plugged in is actually one through 10 and your switch. Another note as we're installing is you can see that this is now a new switch that's got a single lead to it. The light and all are built into this single lead. That switch is also different now. It is not a latching switch, it's a momentary switch. So please make sure that you use that switch or the switch button that's on the receiver itself. Do not use any of the previous switches, they're not compatible. All right, so a very important thing to do before we get into the actual setup of the Synapse module is to make sure that your transmitter is fully set up to your model. You should basically be ready to fly your model as far as sub trims, wing types, and anything like that. It actually notes it when we go through first time setup, but just make sure that your, your whole model is finished. You know, basically you're ready to go fly. If you go back in later and change sub trims or things like that specific, you would want to run this again. Okay, so as we turn this on and turn the model on, I want to note another thing. Our forward programming feature will only show up in your transmitter if your receiver's on, because it's basically, it's the, it's the primary functions living in the receiver. So if you've turned your transmitter on and you can't find forward programming, it's because maybe your airplane isn't on yet. Just make sure you turn your airplane on first, and then forward programming will appear. Okay, so now we're going to run through the first time setup of the Synapse module. I'm using an iX14 right now, but the setups are very much the same with an iX20 or your NX radios also. Uh, we'll be able to show you this on the screen as we walk through it, and I'll also talk through some of the things that, and point out some of the things that might help along the way. All right, so here we are on the front page. Your model is on. Everything is working. We're ready to go. So we'll go into Model Adjust, and you'll note that forward programming is showing there on the screen. So that is very important. Forward programming will not show up if the receiver and the model are off, only when it's on. So we'll go into forward programming and immediately you'll see three different selections here. Gyro settings, other settings, and power safe telemetry. There's also a bunch of cool features in the power safe telemetry that you can go through and explore. But for today, we're gonna to focus on the first time setup and it's gonna walk you right through it. So you'll see first time setup there, you'll select that. And the first page we come to is basically talking you through the same thing I had mentioned before. We wanna make sure that the receiver is fully set up, your transmitter has all of the settings, sub trims, reversing, travel adjustments, anything like that already done because it's gonna learn that as we go through this. We're gonna hit next. Also tail type, wing type, channel assignment, 
basically anything. Make sure the model's ready to fly before we go through this. We're gonna do next again. And so now it's gonna set the orientation of the gyro. You have two options here. With the 339, it's kind of a larger model, so we're gonna pick the orientation manually. For a larger model, this can get a little cumbersome, so you, have, you can set this manually, or you can set this by holding the model level and then holding the model on its nose. You can see if you select the position, it'll have a fly out, and you can see all of the different positions and which one we need. So in this case, we're airplane right side up, gyro right side up, and the single mounting tab is pointed towards the nose of the airplane, so that's position one. And we're gonna hit continue. Now here we're gonna select our gain channel. There's a really cool and neat feature that's in this. So if you set up your transmitter and you had not assigned a gain channel yet, you know, you need one open channel. And if you have not assigned that yet, you can even do that in here instead of having to go back out and assign it in the transmitter and then come back into forward programming. So from here, you can see that we're gonna use, I had named it already, gyro, we're gonna use aux eight there, but it is not assigned to anything yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick the gain channel and we're gonna look for that channel. That's that. And then you can also assign your switch from in here too. And so we're gonna turn it on the knob. I highly suggest that you use the knob for your first flight. Uh, it allows you to adjust the gyro on the fly in the air with real fine sensitivity and control. And it, it just allows you to tune the model in flight pretty easily that way. It's not the only way you can do it. You can use trimmers, you can use even a slider if you wanted to, but the knob seems to be the preference that most people use as we go through this. So now that we've assigned the actual channel that we're gonna use and the switch that we're gonna use, we're gonna hit next again, and then we're gonna hit apply. Once we've hit apply, the model is gonna reset or re reboot. We're gonna hit connect again there, and you'll notice in here that the model has now acknowledged that the gyro is now armed and active, and basically, We've done it. That's first time setup, super, super simple. From first time setup, I'm also gonna give you a couple other tips and tricks that are pretty neat. So if you go into gyro settings and you go into system setup, and then you go into utilities, from there, you'll see one called gyro response test. A lot of the times, um, you know, with the gyro, it's really hard to find out if everything's going the right direction. And it's always a really good practice to check and make sure that everything's going the right direction. So in gyro response test, once you activate that, while it's in that, you can see that no matter what I do to the model, it, it moves the surfaces and actually holds the surfaces there. So right now we're in a left roll. You can see that the right aileron has raised up. You can see that the left aileron has gone down and you can tell that it's going the right direction and correcting for this action. Same with the tail. So if I raise the nose, the elevator goes down. If I lower the nose, the elevator goes up. Same with y'all. So I'm going to the right and the elevator go, or sorry, the rudder goes left. Going to the left with the nose and the rudder goes right. So it's correcting in the, well, yes, it's correcting in the correct direction as far as the gyro goes. It's a really neat feature. It makes it a whole lot easier than just trying to wiggle and tell if it's going the right direction. It's super, Simple that way, it gives you time to think and process and go, yep, everything's going in the right direction. Super simple thing, and then after you are done with that, you can just exit right out of it. And basically, that is it. We're done in the forward programming menus for the first flight. Now, one other place that I always suggest you go is you go to your monitor screen. On your monitor screen, you'll be able to see the gyro channel to make sure that the gyro channel is moving in the correct direction. You'll also be able to make sure and confirm that the model responds when you turn the gyro on and off. So in the case of the Synapse, things are a little different now. The range of the gyro is from negative 100 to positive 100. I know a lot of previous gyros sometimes go from zero to 100. The Synapse actually goes from negative 100 to positive 100. So if you're at zero or in the middle, you're effectively at 50% of whatever gain you have selected. So in the case of this, right now, you're gonna to have to raise your throttle and put it down just above 30%. That's activating the gyros in the system. And right now I've got my knob turned all the way counterclockwise. So basically it's at negative 100. You can see that on the screen. And the aircraft, you can tell there's no gyro movement. There's no gyro response. Now, if I take that same knob and I rotate it all the way clockwise, now you'll be able to see that the gyro in all three axes is responding to my movements. So we can confirm that A, the gyro channel is working and working properly. It's always just another good check to do before you do your first flight. From that is all that it took. Your, your gyro is completely set up, the synapse module, the receiver, you're ready to go do your first flights.